tonight. Questions after chaos breaks out in KCK. Flames rip through in an apartment, killing a little girl. Everybody was saying, get out, get out. Your house is on fire for it. Blow up. Me and the son started catching people out the window. We thought that was everybody. We begin at 10 tonight with team coverage of this tragedy. Fire crews spent hours trying to knock down that fire. 41 Action News reporter Stephen Dial is live at the scene tonight. And Stephen, can you explain to us what it is you're seeing out there? Well, investigators just called it a night after being out here since about 1130 in the morning behind me is just a charred shell of what was once an apartment complex. The state uh, fire marshal called in an R R uh, accelerant dog and they say it's standard procedure when a death happens. A Saturday morning fire now involves three law enforcement agencies. Three people were injured and a four year old girl is dead. The Kansas City, Kansas fire marshal says the flames were too strong to enter the building where the child was trapped. The victim was finally reached by going in the adjoining apartment and knocking a hole through that wall and coming in through that. Uh, they took them out and took them to KU Med Center um, where they were pronounced dead a little later. Hours after the fire was completely under control, the state fire marshal brought in an accelerant dog. That's standard procedure anytime we have a fatality fire is to make sure we run an accelerant dog through it to make sure there was no accelerants anywhere at the scene that could have attributed to it. Investigators say the eight apartments are individually owned, which created confusion when identifying victims. We've had a hard time verifying just who was in here and where they're at now and make sure they were okay because it's not on the city records who actually lives here. Everybody owns their own and they, they can choose to rent it out or not. So we've had a very difficult time. KCK Fire Marshal John Droppelman says some firefighters had minor injuries. Investigators say some of the units did not have smoke detectors. There's no sprinklers in these buildings. They do, the, the ones that we've looked at, quite, most of them have smoke detectors in them. Um, and I don't know how much of a role that played in giving out. Everybody, like I said, all the adjoining units, everybody made it out without an issue. The American Red Cross is assisting more than a dozen residents here. We're told that there could be an update as early as tomorrow or Monday. Reporting live in KCK, Stephen Dial, 41 Action News. All right, thank you, Stephen. And this video here was shot by one of our producers, and it shows just how large the fire was at one point. You can actually see all that smoke visible from the road there. And to give you a better idea of where this all happened, the College Park townhomes are just north of where I-70 meets College Parkway, south of State Avenue near Delaware Park. And the flames are not only taking a toll on the families of that little girl and those hurt. 41 Action News reporter Nick Starling spoke with people who tell him they stepped in to help as people jumped from windows to escape. A massive fire tears through this Aplex townhome complex. Firefighters battle the flames even in the middle of the day turns night from the amount of smoke billowing from the burning building. Me and the son started catching people out the window. We thought that was everybody, and about three or four minutes later, they said it was a little girl in the back. Cernan Mason is now without a home and looks on as it burns. The selfish part is we lost everything, but somebody lost a life. You know, in the grand scheme, that's more important. KCK Fire says this happened just before 11 this morning as a fire started in the middle of the complex and went up the firewall to the attic where it spread quickly. Two adults and two children were transported. <laughs> One is dead. The fire also taking a toll on firefighters. The smoke is blowing onto them and they're trying to rest and, and they're not getting adequate rest. This wasn't how Mildred McCollum wanted to celebrate her 84th birthday. She just got the call from her grandson saying her house is on fire. And I said, oh Lord Jesus, please save me. She spent 22 years here. Now it's all gone. At the 84th birthday, I'm going to write that in the Bible. Let them know what happened on that day. They don't know why this happened to them, but as they look for answers, they hope a higher power has them. But God has spared me, my family, none of us was hurt. So that's a blessing right there. And pray for the ones who did not make it out. And then for a, lo a life to be lost, that's more what I'm, I'm crying about. It's the little girl. We can replace material items, you know. That is what it is, but that little girl, she, she didn't have a chance to live. 
And our coverage continues online. As soon as we hear, we'll be sure to update you on the victims as well as what caused the fire. Just head to our website at KSHB.com. You can also find all of that information on our free 41 Action News mobile app.